The URLs of the content you publish on your WordPress website are known as permalinks, aka a permanent link to a single page. They're also what search engines and other websites use to link to your website. So yeah, they're pretty important. You can change the structure of your permalinks at any time. However, doing this will change the URL of your pages, so to avoid any headaches, change your permalink structure before launching your website. WordPress permalink settings can be found in the settings menu under permalinks. WordPress displays five custom permalink structures that are considered common. WordPress automatically enables the plain permalink structure after you install WordPress, which is not user friendly. It's better to refer a visitor to a URL such as yourwebsite.com slash big dash news dash story than yourwebsite.com slash question mark page underscore ID equals 54367. In Google's search engine optimization starter guide, they make it clear that a structured URL with keywords will make it easier for them to crawl your pages. Apart from the plain permalink structure, all of the permalink structures that WordPress offers are search engine friendly. The different tags you see listed are known as structure tags, which there are 10 of them. Post name is the post slug of your post. Post ID is the unique ID of a post. Category is the category a post is assigned to. Year, month num, and day are all related to when the article was published. And you can also use the following tags, though very few websites do. Hour, minute, and second, also relating to when the article was published. And author, which is just the author's name. You should either include the post name or the post ID in your permalink to ensure that the URLs of posts and pages are unique. Most WordPress websites use the following permalink structures. Postname, which is very popular with WordPress owners because it generates short, memorable URLs. Category and name, which ensures that the visitors know what kind of posts they're viewing. It also doesn't hurt that it stuffs the most keywords into your URL than any other option. Full date and name. This is what most websites with a high posting frequency use, since it ensures their page URLs contain the year, month, and day that an article was published. Year, month, and name. This is another popular choice. It generates URLs that are two characters shorter than day and name. At the bottom of the permalink settings page, you'll see optional settings for your category base and tag base. With the default settings, if you have a category on your website called WordPress, the URL of that category's archives would be your website.com slash category slash WordPress. Changing these fields allow you to change the URLs that are used for archives. For example, you could change the category base to cat so that the URL would become your website.com slash cat slash WordPress. To wrap things up, remember that you should choose your permalink structure before launching your website, and ideally you should keep the same structure for the entire lifespan of your website. For more information, you can check out the original blog post linked in the description. If this video helped you in any way, then give it a like, be sure to subscribe, and with that said, we'll see you in the next video.